हेलो स्टूडेंट्स सो फर्स्ट सितंबर से आपका जेई मेन एग्ज़ाम शेड्यूल्ड है अब इन बचे हुए लास्ट टेन डेज में आप कैसे अपनी प्रिपरेशन को फाइन ट्यून करें क्या क्या आपके लिए बेसिक गाइडलाइंस होनी चाहिए इसके लिए आज का ये वीडियो मैं लेके आया हूँ आप लोगों की बहुत सारी रिक्वेस्ट आ रही थी कि सर इस तरह का कुछ वीडियो लें एंड आप ऑन थिंकिंग अबाउट दैट रिक्वेस्ट मैंने सोचा ये वीडियो मेरी जगह मैं अपने किसी एक ऐसे स्टूडेंट से बनवाऊँ जिसने इस एग्ज़ाम को बहुत अच्छे से क्रैक किया है और क्रैक करने के साथ साथ जिसका जो थाट्स की क्लैरिटी है उसने मुझे हमेशा बहुत प्रभावित किया है ऐसी एक मेरे स्टूडेंट से मैंने आज आपके लिए वीडियो बनाया है स्टूडेंट का नाम है जय मुंद्रा जो भी अजमेर के स्टूडेंट्स हैं उन्होंने डेफिनेटली जय का नाम ज़रूर सुना होगा बिकॉज मैं जहाँ पे पढ़ाता था हमारे इंस्टीट्यूट के लिए ही वॉज अ पोस्टर बॉय अकेडमिक अचीवमेंट्स की बात करें तो ही अचीव वॉट यू कैन ड्रीम ऑफ लाइक ही वॉज ऑल इंडिया रैंक वन इन दैन एन टी एग्जामिनेशन इन इज टाइम He scored AIR seven in JE Main, which is perhaps the highest rank scored ever by my any student. So a single digit rank in JE Main, one zero two rank in JE Advanced. He has completed his B Tech in Computer Science from IIT Delhi, and after doing a, a job for twelve months, he is now going for his PhD. Probably once the Corona lockdown is lifted or the conditions become right, plus. Apart from that, JE Advanced and JE Mains, he scored superb marks in Bit Set. He got a selection in Chennai Mathematical Institute. He also got a selection in the Indian Statistical Institute. So academically, he achieved whatever you can dream for at that stage. But उसके अलावा भी जो इनका thought process जैसा मैंने आपको कहा, आपको और जानना हो तो देखिए मेरे एक blog पे मैंने जब ये second year में जाया था, तब मैंने इससे कुछ thoughts इसके लिखवाए थे to guide the aspirants. कैसे पढ़ना चाहिए क्या क्या प्लानिंग होनी चाहिए आप उस आर्टिकल को भी चेक करें वो उतना ही रेलिवेंट है जितना उस टाइम पे था चलिए अब मैं ज़्यादा टाइम नहीं लेता जस्ट इन्जॉय दिस वीडियो दिस वुड बी वेरी डिफरेंट फ्रॉम द नॉर्मल स्ट्रेटेजी वीडियो यू सी ऑन द यूट्यूब इट इज़ नॉट अ टिपिकल यूट्यूब वीडियो फुल ऑफ ज्ञान 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 इट्स स्ट्रेट टॉक एंड इट्स वेरी रेलिवेंट पॉइंट्स एंड स्पेशली लिसन टू द पॉइंट्स वट कैन हैपन वेन द पेपर इज नॉट गोइंग एज पर योर एक्सपेक्टेशन how you can bounce back from that situation that part you should clearly give a very special emphasis on hey hello everyone my name is jay mundra and i am here to help you with some last minute preparation for your exam uh, the question is what to do in the last few days of your preparation um the answer will be different for different people because people work in different ways but let us try to establish some general guidelines and then what i think works for most people my first advice would be to not evaluate yourself again and again uh, many people do this to be reassured of their abilities that 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 things will go right i think it is counterproductive it produces a lot of anxiety it is a result of a lot of anxiety and also we are very bad judges of ourselves plus things can be very different on the exam day than we imagined them to be um i i would i would say that instead of trying to do that try to find out other ways to calm your anxiety uh besides i would advise you to avoid cramming stuff in the last few days um a lot of people try to learn a lot of new stuff in the last 10 days or so um once again i think it is counterproductive uh first and most importantly it impedes your brain's logical problem solving abilities if your brain has been trying to learn stuff in the last few days um it will not suddenly become fluent in trying to solve problems um on the day of the exam don't overburden yourself by trying to learn a lot um try to instead play to your strengths whatever areas you are good at try to revise them if you have to um everyone is good in some areas uh, the number of those areas may be less or more but but try to focus on your strengths another thing that i would advise you to do is to uh, make up a strategy for the exam for different scenarios in in the exam what what do you do if the exam is very lengthy what do you do if it is difficult but short what do you do if it is difficult and lengthy and what do you do if it's easy and short i mean that really happens but but what if uh most of you must have already done this when you, when you uh, prepared for the mock tests you must have realized what works for you and what does not work for you even if you have not having a rough strategy will help you a lot in the first few minutes in the exam it will help you stabilize yourself and it will not it will make you not freak out 
no matter what kind of paper you see there. Now, on the day of the exam, uh, a lot is different from your mock tests. Um, of course, your brain knows that this is not a mock test, this is the actual paper. The invigilator is different, the building you are giving the exam in is different, the whole environment is different, the, the, uh, the sheet that you are filling in front of yourself, it is different, everything is going to be different, everything is going to feel different, plus there is going to be a lot of pressure from your uh, parents, teachers and friends. Uh, things can very easily go wrong. If things do not go wrong for you, that is the best. Prevention would be the best technique but if things do go wrong for you you can always pull it back remember that never count yourself out uh, if things have not been very good for one and a half or two hours in the exam if required take even a five minute break calm yourself down remind yourself that your objective is not to think about the result right now but to solve as many problems as you can you can always bounce back Final words, um, I would say that avoid all sources of anxiety, uh, be it your parents, friends, teachers um, or, or anything else or even your own mind. Um, try to try to come up with strategies to tackle that anxiety uh, because a calm mind is the only mind that can perform at its best. Um, believe in yourself, good luck and uh, thank you.